guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a collective haul video this is going to be a mix of items that were sent to me and items that I bought with my own money so if you want to see what's in my haul please keep on watching <laughs> going to start off with the items that were sent to me. First is Nature Essentials. I'm just going to grab kasi medyo madami sila. These are their organic hydrating matte lipsticks and velvet lip creams. I did a swatch video for this lippies and they're both lipsticks just in different forms. This is in a lipstick bullet and this one is in a liquid lipstick form. I really appreciate the thought that they put in these lipsticks because pinag-isipan talaga siya. As you can see, this lipstick is encased in bamboo and it embodies the whole branding of Nature Essentials. So these hydrating matte lipsticks smells like nougat candy. The color selection, all wearable guys, and it will suit any pinay skin tone. Then I have in here their velvet lip creams, which are their liquid lipstick variants, and ito naman sobrang fruity ng smell niya. If you wanna see my review, you can check that out on my blog. I have separate post for the velvet lip creams and the hydrating matte lipsticks. So what I love about these lip creams is that they're one swipe goodness. Ibig sabihin nun guys, one coat lang. It's very opaque and madali siyang i-apply. It doesn't dry your lips out like other liquid lipstick too. The link for the Nature Essentials swatch video and blog post will be in the information box below. And then also a soap from Nature Essentials. This is their Nature Dream Soap. Skin whitening and illuminating. Alam nyo guys, ang dami ko ng stock ng soap sa aking bathroom dahil madami nagsisend ng soap. So, nakaka-excite lagi maligo dahil marami akong itatry na soaps. It says hypoallergenic and highly moisturizing vegetable glycerin based soap. So, this is how it looks like. Alam nyo, malaki siya. I really can smell this dahil meron siyang plastic. Next, I have in here something from Beautylicious Deals. This is our Mary Kay CC Cream. Remember, I also did a review on the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation, which I really love. So let's see if I'm also going to like the CC Cream variant. This is how the packaging looks like, and may nakadikit na samples. I think fragrance and yung isa hindi ko alam. Lipstick ata. Let's get this out of the packaging. And it comes in a squeezy tube bato. Um, let's see. May pump siya. So, that's the one thing that I don't like about the Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. Medyo messy siya. Pag nagmamadali ka sa umaga and you screw the cap back, medyo nagkakalat siya pagka nakalagay siya ng maayos. Sa vanity mo, what you have to do is you have to turn it upside down para hindi siya magli. But with this one, mas okay yung packaging niya and mas hygienic because it's with a pump. I have something from Maybelline and it says make perfect summer happen. So maybe these are like summer essentials. Let's see what's inside. Actually, I've already opened this but I haven't tried the products. Ayan, medyo hindi kami kasha. And it came with like sunglasses. Oops, nahuhulog na sila. Sunglasses from Sunny's. And then we also have in here their Maybelline Hyper Sharp Power Black I think this is a liquid liner. Karon na kung ganito, but the version na yellow yung cap, not really yellow but good. It was gifted to me by my sister, and this is the swatch. Manipis din yung kanyang tip, so if you're going to do cut, I mas madale using this one. Puro ito yung mga nakikita kong reviews kay Ate Ann and some other bloggers. Then we also have in here the Maybelline Dream Satin Skin, and medyo dark ata ito for me the shade. It's in B3. This is a liquid foundation. So I already have this in my stash. I have my own Dream Satin Skin that I purchased from way before. And medyo dark itong shade na ito for me, B3. Next, I have in here something that I haven't tried. This is the Maybelline New York Dream Satin Skin 2-Way Cake with SPF 32 PA++++. It's in the same shade, B3. And it says, First Powder Invisible 2-Way Cake. And non-cakey, ultra-breathable satin skin perfection that lasts all day. Okay sana siya. Sana okay yung um, shade sa akin. Mag-match siya. Kasi gusto ko siyang dalihin on a short summer trip. What I love with Maybelline Compacts is that kahit medyo malaki sila, hindi sila ganun ka-bulky and it comes with a big mirror. And then lastly, they also sent me three shades of their Vivid Matte Lipsticks. And I have it in the shade Vivid 1, Vivid 3, and Vivid 2. Let's try it out. The packaging is this red translucent cap with a black body. And I'm guessing mga brights ito because it says it's for summer. This is Vivid 1 Scarlet Red. Vivid 2, Neon Pink. And then lastly, this is Vivid 3, um, Violet Pink. 
So can you see how bright these lipsticks are? Grabe, super pigmented. So the next makeup items are from L'Oreal. I attended the Women of Worth event and I saw Cheska Kramer, Don Zalueta, and Selene Usaf, their new brand ambassadors for different lines of L'Oreal. And ito yung mga nakuha ko dun sa loot bag. This is the L'Oreal True Match Genius 4-in-1 Primer Foundation Concealer and Powder. I'm really excited to try this one out because I am a foundation junkie. But I think hindi na ganun ka okay yung shade niya for me. This is in G2 gold porcelain and nung pumunta kami kasi sa event like we were there 11 a.m the event started 10 a.m and yung neutral na shades it was already sold out next i have in here the fall slash superstar this is a two-step mascara the first step says wait lang basahin natin para sure i can see what the steps are for so i'm just going to open it and show the ones for you so we have step one and step two let's open first step one so this is a primer. That's what I was thinking kanina. I just wanted to make sure. And then sa other side, we have step 2 right here. It's the mascara. And nakikita ko that it has fiber. So I'm excited to try this one as well. Dahil may mga fiber siya. And my Hair and Make Mascara, which is my Holy Grail Mascara, has fibers in it. Kaya gusto gusto ko siya. Then we have another liner from L'Oreal. It's the Super Liner Superstar. So I think same sila ng line itong Superstar False Lash. So I'm not going to open this guys. I have already opened the Maybelline one. So yun muna yung gagamitin ko. It might dry out. I have in here the L'Oreal Brow Artist Chisel Straight. And ito yung hindi ko maintindihan dun sa instructions nung binabasa ko. Kung ano ba talaga siya. Is it a brow set para yung mga stray hair uh, sumunod siya sa direction na gusto mo? Or is it something that you use to fill in your brows? Let's see. So when you open it, you're going to get a doe foot applicator at the tip and a brush in just one one. I think it's a two-in-one product. The tip you use to fill in the brows, I am not sure with that. And then you brush out your hairs with the brush that it came with. So, if this will work, it's a genius product because it's a two-in-one. Usually, iba yung ginagamit natin to fill in our brows and iba rin ginagamit natin to set it or to set the hair. So, these are the items that were included in my Eye White Monthly Package and I'm going to show it to you one by one. really happy to see that they included the Facial Wash Whitening Vita because this is something that I really use and it's included in my current favorites video. Actually guys, before ko siya receive I repurchased my own facial wash whitening Vita from iWhite not knowing na may kasama palang facial wash in my monthly package. What I love about this is matipid siyang gamitin and it will really make you feel clean after using it. Now the current moisturizer that I'm loving it's the iWhite Aqua Moisturizer Whitening Vita. I think it's in the same line with my facial wash and super love this. It's very light because it's summer right now. I don't want to put anything that's heavy on my face. The problem ko kasi guys when it comes to moisturizers is that I get Milia whenever super na hydrate yung aking face. I refer to Milias as cholesterol deposits and sabi nila nakukuha daw yun sa kinakain. But I think na pag gumagamit din ako ng super heavy moisturizers, nagkakaroon ako ng Milias. This has a gel consistency that when applied to your skin, it turns watery. And first time that I used it, akala ko hindi niya mag-moisturize yung skin ko. Because most of the watery moisturizers that I use, hindi ganun ka okay yung hydration na naibibigay niya but this one leaves your skin hydrated and napapansin ko that my pores they are minimized. So they have the sachet for their aqua moisturizer facial wash. They also have BB creams in sachets and this one na naaaliw akong gamitin every now and then. This is their 2 minute whitening miracle. So I am not the type of person that gets easily convinced into promotions like instant whitening because I believe na something that's worth getting is worth waiting for. Tama ba yung sinabi ko? I really tried this one. Uh, sachet pa lang yung ko because they sent me a couple of this um, mask. Uh, para rin siyang gel and I only use this much. And pag nilagay mo siya gel, you have to wait like 1 to 2 minutes and it turns watery. If it turns watery, you can already scrub it on your face. Kasi parang may namumuo siya na parang hindi ko alam kung dead skin cells mo yun or it's just from the mask na nagbubuo-buo lang yung in-apply mo. But after washing it off, I noticed na may instant brightening effect. Tininay ko siyang i-rub off with another wet towel. Baka kasi may naiwan kung ano, kaya mukha siyang maputing tingnan. It just really brightened my face. So, hindi ko alam guys kung bakit ganon. Do not ask me. But it has the same technology with the facial wash and the moisturizer that I use. Bio Nana Technology. Please try this one guys and let me know kung may napansin ba kayo na parang luminous and nag-brighten yung face after using this. Next, I have something from the Cream Factory. I have their um, 
goat's milk and avocado bath cream. I also have another scent for this, this same size in my shower. I am using it. So I have my own way of using this. The way that I use it, I use my regular soap first and then rinse it off my body. After so, I squeeze an ample amount of this on my loofah and then sinascrub ko siya and I let it set for a few minutes. Because after rinsing your body with this, uh, with water after using this, sobrang soft niya. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-lotion. Hindi mahilig mag-lotion dahil ayoko nang malagkit. So this is a great help para sa mga tamad mag-lotion. And they also gave me their goat's milk and honey scrub in a tub also from the same brand, the Cream Factory. And this is their creamy variant. I think meron ding isa na salty variant and I don't know what uh, the difference is. But what I love about this scrub, usually kasi guys ang scrub, Ito twist mo siya, ba? To open it. But this one, hindi ko pa to nagagamit. But this one, guys, alam mo na, pinag-isipan talaga yung packaging niya. And it's very... Pang simpleng bagay na nagbabago ng pag-iisip mo sa product na yun. Because, hello, gaganyan mo lang siya. And then, you, you get the product. Diba, mas madali yung ganyan. And then, meron siyang leaflet. The King Factory. Very hygienic and madali siyang buksan, especially when you are in the shower. I always look forward to taking my bath dahil nga, I have products to use that I really enjoy. And no joke guys, and no promotions or whatsoever, I really enjoy the King Factory products. They are super nice and they are made of goat's milk. And another thing guys, pala, munti ko na makalimutan, the King Factory products, they all smell super amazing. After nyong maligo, yung buong bathroom ninyo, it will smell like you were in the spa. They smell really nice. Someone like me nga, who doesn't use lotion, there is always something na magagawa mo kung ayaw mo ng greasiness. Use a bath product that's moisturizing by itself. Cream Factory items I got from the event, which is the launch of the Real Deal Company. Like their spa looking um, office. Hindi siya mukhang office, guys. Para lang siyang spa. And then you can come there, go experience their products. They are the distributor of the Cream Factory. Then from another YouTuber, Ate Mafi Doki, who has an online shop, RMK Online Shop, they sent me few skincare items. First off, I have this whitening deodorant. Nagamit ko siya because I have a dream of a whiter underarm. So, hindi ganun kaputi ang aking underarm. You might have seen it in my blog. So, let's see if this is effective. Then, I have this collagen serum, but I don't know if I'm going to use this agad because I'm using the eye white one. And she also sent me skin renewal serum, which has active such as grapeseed oil, vitamin C, E, and rose hips. So, ito siguro pwede ko siyang gamitin if I want more moisture on my face. I can use this on top of my eye white aqua moisturizer. Then, I also have two variants of lip scrubs. This is in the lemon mint sugar scrub and the other one in strawberry sugar lip scrub. And that I try ko pala guys is this lemon mint one. I use this when doing my um, nature essentials swatch video and it helped a lot. And lastly, for the items that were sent to me, something from Salad Box. So I attended the VMVX Salad Box event and they were nice enough to give us some of their VMV items. So first off, I have this Hydra Balance Gentle Cream Cleanser and it looks something like this. Let's open. Hindi ko siya nakikita talaga guys. I haven't really opened it. Nice packaging. I did you know pala that VMV is a Filipino brand? Hindi ko rin alam. Makala ko international brand siya because the pricing is quite there and also ang ganda ng pagkakagawa ng branding. So this is their cleanser. And then a fun fact from VMV, there are 76 known allergens pala and um, sa kanilang packaging you will see kung anong allergens sa present. With this one it says 76 over 76 so ibig sabihin walang allergen na present. If it says 74 over 76, there are only two allergens present. And what's nice about this brand is that pag nandun sa likod ng ingredients, naka-underline talaga and naka-highlight yung mga allergens. Next, I have in here this VMV Hypoallergenics Hydra Balance Smart Moisturizer. Nami kong gagamitin, hindi ko alam kung alin. So, paano pa kaya yung mga ibang vloggers receives a lot. And it says 75 over 76 sa sensitivity. So, ibig sabihin nun, there's one allergen present in here. So, this is what to call an honest brand. Talagang ini-indicate nila if there is an allergen in their item. Also, in my loot bag is a VMV Hypoallergenics Armada Sport 70. This one I've already used. But this is just a sample size. Um, from way back before and this one I will be bringing sa aking short um, summer trip. Lastly from the MBX Salad Box, their 60 Minute Super Skin Facial. April Salad Box is coming out guys and it's in collaboration with VMV Hypoallergenics. Again, for 500 pesos, you get 
more than the worth of your money. So, subscribe to Salad Box. And now, proceeding with the items that I bought for myself. Pasensya na kayo. Nagsusway yung hair ko dahil yung aircon ko ay nandito sa side na to. But let's proceed with this haul video. First off are the items that I got from Chedeline's Cosmetics. These are mostly Milani items. I don't know what it is with me but gusto ko talaga na mag-purchase mag na Milani items because I believe na ang gaganda ng products nila. First off guys, I have these Milani Amor Matte Lip Creams or whatever you want to call them. Liquid lipstick. I'm not going to show you a swatch because I'm going to do a first impressions on these products and I have been receiving not really receiving. I've been reading a lot of reviews about this and ang gaganda ng swatches na nagtitingin ako online. This looks very promising and I purchased five. I'm going to do a swatch video and a review pag okay na ulit yung aking next surgery. From Milani as well, I have three blushes right here and this is their Baked Powder Blush in the shade number 1 Dolce Pink and then Baked Powder Blush 05 Luminoso and then this one blush as well but it's their regular powder blush. Ang laki ng regular na na powder blush compared dun sa mga baked ones. This is in the shade 08 T Rose. So there, but unlike the Baked Powder Blush, it doesn't come with a mirror and a brush. Going to show you the Baked Powder Blush. This is how thick the dome is and yan, it comes with a mirror and a brush. And lastly, from Chedeline's Cosmetics that I visited sa SM Mega Trade Hall, this is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. This one I saw from Ate Anne and I got very curious. And since it's summer, siguro magagamit ko siya like my Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation and I am in the shade 310 Light Ivory. Hindi siya pwedeng iswatch pag nandun ka sa bazaar but hinulaan ko lang siya kung alin yung malapit sa skin ko. Luckily, this is my shade. So, more Milani items from a different shop. Beauty Essentials by Erin McKay. I got three of their matte lipsticks. Actually, I wish to purchase four, pero wala na nung isang shade that's really nice. Yun yung pinaka nagustuhan kong shade. Um, di ko sure ko anong name niya, parang beauty ata. It's like a nude brown shade, parang ganun. So the shades that I got are 74 Darling, 60 Innocence, and then 62 Blissful, which I am wearing right now. And nakikita ninyo, ayan, nagpa-first impressions na agad ako dito. Parang may film na nabubuo dun sa loob. Because, uh, siguro na may mix with my saliva or whatever. And I swatch it at the back of my hand. This is in Darling, Innocence, and Blissful. So, lastly, from Milani, I have this Milani Conceal plus Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I am in the shade 01 Creamy Vanilla. And sadly, this is the lightest shade. And hindi naman ako maputi. So, I don't know why that is. But this is um, yellow based or yellow undertone. I haven't worn this. I haven't tried swatching it. Dun lang sa store when I'm looking for my shade but I'm going to do a first impressions on this one. So this is a very promising foundation. Parang kasi it says medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant and sweat proof. That's very up there para i-claim mo yon but let's see. I tried shopping at Shopee PH and I got two items. Maganda pala yung system nila doon because mas may protection for the buyer and for the seller as well, may mga ibibigay silang discounts to the buyers. I purchased two. The first one is the RMC, RMCA, RCMA No Color Powder and I have used this much. So this one guys, I have been meaning to get since Kathleen Lights raved about it and gusto ko siyang i-compare sa aking Laura Mercier powder but uh, dagdag video pa yon para gawin ko. But as of now, ang masasabi ko guys is that siguro nasabi niya na no color powder ito for her because she's um, whiter than me or whiter than most of us. But the Laura Mercier powder para siyang may konting because it's translucent, this one is no color. Yung pagka translucent niya medyo beige yung dating niya and more natural on me. But this one medyo my white cast siya. Actually, I am using it right now. Mukha naman siyang natural because I sprayed it with my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer Water. I use it also to set my makeup. But ang notice ko sa kanya, if you're not going to set it with any fixing mist or whatever, it doesn't look as natural as the Laura Mercier one. Lastly, from Shopee, I got this Dermacol Film Studio Baron Dove Prague Makeup Cover. Ito, nakita ko siya sa forum sa Facebook and Ang dami nagre-rave sa kanya. Mura lang siya nung una, pero medyo mumahal na siya ngayon. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Siguro dahil marami nagre-rave. And yung kanyang color selection, usually pag bibili ka, parang sa shoes, broken sizes. A lot of the sellers are selling it, pero madaling mawala yung mga yellow undertone. Online as well, I saw the Wet and Wild brushes. Raved as well, Bega Clean Lights, from an online seller. And I got a couple of the brushes. 
I got a powder brush, blush brush, multiple brush, contour brush, flat top brush, and crease brush, smoky liner brush, small eyeshadow brush, and bent liner brush. I forgot the name of the seller, but she was also nice to send me a freebie. This is Elf Flawless Eyeshadow in the shade Tantalizing Taupe. And at the end of the whole week, guys, as soon as the mall opened, I went to SM Mega Mall because I saw the announcement from NYX Philippines that their liquid suede lipstick atay name nito is already out. So I purchased three shades. I don't know kung ilan yung shades na available, but some of the nude shades that I want, hindi na siya available, sold out agad siya within that day. Two shades yun ng nude. And cookies, cherry skies. And Kitten Heels. So I just purchased this on a whim when I was in NYX, but this is the NYX HD Concealer. And since I love my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I purchased another one for my sister. Actually, ito na yung last na stock niya. She will be restocking. But this is the original Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is really nice. I don't know, pero mas gusto ko siya kaysa sa Beauty Blender. It's a lot softer than the Beauty Blender, but it has lesser bounce since it's more soft. And ang napansin ko sa kanya is that mas nadadalian akong gamitin siya because meron siyang iba't ibang klase ng surface. The pointed one, like this domed one, and the flat surface na wala as a beauty blender. Now the items that I purchased from Top Boutique, some of these are pre-ordered and then some pinurchased ko because bagong dating siya dun sa boutique. So I pre-ordered this Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam and let's open it. Actually, nagamit ko na siya. And I loved Starburst and Crushed Pearl. So the next thing that I pre-ordered from Top Boutique is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I am in the shade Y31. So if you are in the MAC NC20 to NC25, this is the perfect match for you. Saktong-sakto siya and even if I put a lot, hindi siya nagkikrease gaano. When I saw this in YouTube reviews, akala ko yung tip niya guys is a sponge applicator, pero plastic siya. On top, I got this Becca Backlight Priming Filter and the bottle of this looks like a foundation bottle. But it's a primer. And ang napansin ko sa kanya when I tried using it is that parang pag in mo siya, it has this pearlized finish. For you to be able to see the effect of the backlight priming filter, you have to let it dry. And I don't know if you're going to see that. Um, the next product that I'm going to show you was included in my current favorites video. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and I am in the shade Vanilla. So what I suggest is that if you are a combination oily skin, wear this on top of a mattifying primer because it will definitely oil. It's not perfect for our weather kung hindi ka magsosot ng primer. Staying power is nice but yun nga, I get oily sa aking T-zone and napansin ko that it sinks sa aking fine lines. So definitely get your skin well prep before applying this one. When it comes to the feel, it's very lightweight for the coverage that it gives. If you are looking for a full coverage foundation that's lightweight, I suggest this one. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Next are the Sleepy. So, while I was claiming my pre-ordered items from Top Boutique, nakita ko na bagong dating siya. So, these are two Burberry lipsticks and then Tom Ford lipstick. I just love how Tom Ford lipsticks are so pigmented yet moisturizing sila sa lips. This is in Casablanca. So, these are my first Burberry lipsticks velvets and this one is in the shade Damson. Let's try and swatch it. Moisturizing as well. It's my first time swatching it. Packaging is nice because it's magnetic. Then lastly Nude Rose. There. Topped was nice enough to give me freebies and I got items from Lorac and this is the Lorac Pro Plus Fiber Mascara and this is a Lorac Lip, Lops Lip Lobster Lip Luster Gloss and lastly a Lorac Eyeshadow Pro Palette Cream. So I got a few things from the MAC Flamingo Park Collection and then one brush from the Fairy Something Collection ng MAC. From the MAC Flamingo Park Collection, I got an eyeshadow, a lipstick, and a blush. So let's start off with the blush. This is in the shade What I Fancy and yan siya. This is a lipstick in the shade B Silly, also from the same collection. This is a very bright pink. This is not something in my palette, but um, they suggested to mix it with uh, Please Me and maganda yung pinakita nila na outcome, so I purchased it. This eyeshadow from the same collection. This is in the shade Flock and Roll. 
So what I do guys, if I want that fresh and radiant look, sometimes I put a wash of pink eyeshadow sa aking lids. Buong lids, pero super light wash lang. Konti-konti lang. Then I didn't know about this MAC product. This is a MAC Velvet Lip Pencils. And I got them in the shade Aim to Please and Anything Goes. These are just matte lipsticks in pencil form. This good one is Aim to Please. And then this bright red is Anything Goes. From the MAC Fairy Collection, I really don't know the proper name of the collection, but I got this MAC 133 brush and nice siya pagka ginagamit mo for highlighting or for like contour. Ang dami niyang gamit and this one I haven't tried it. MAC brushes quality are tried and tested. Tumatagal talaga siya sa akin and these are really soft. The bristles are short but kind of fluffy dun sa end. Last but not the least, something for Morphe. This is the Morphe 35O. Yes, I already got my hands on it. And mabilis siyang maubos because this was endorsed by Jacqueline Hill. I don't know if this is a collaboration with Jacqueline Hill but I have already tried swatching some of these, uh, wearing some of these. So the eye look that I was wearing for my last video, the Nature Essential Sleep Swatches, all of the eyeshadows that I used are in this palette. So that is it guys for this haul video. I hope you didn't get bored. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching! Bye!